Uh, good afternoon. The Board of Directors of the Writers Guild of America West and the Council of the Writers Guild of America East, acting upon the authority granted them by the memberships, have voted unanimously to call a strike effective 12.01 a.m. Monday, November 5th. As many, of you, as many of you know, three weeks ago, the members of the Writers Guilds of America voted overwhelmingly to authorize a strike if we could not reach a fair and reasonable deal with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. To avoid this outcome, we had been engaged in negotiations for more than three months to resolve our differences. Over that time, we dropped nine of our proposals in the interest of reaching a resolution. However, the studios have not responded to a single one of our important proposals. Every issue that matters to writers, including internet reuse, original writing for new media, DVDs and jurisdiction, has been ignored. In recent years, these conglomerates have enjoyed tremendous financial success off the backs of literally tens of thousands of people, including members of the creative community. One part of that community is the writers, whose work serves as the blueprint for television programs and motion pictures. And although the industry's pie is continually growing, our share continues to shrink. Rather than address our members' primary concerns, the studios made it clear that they would rather shut down this town than reach a fair and reasonable deal. This past Wednesday, the AMPTP called a halt to talks by demanding that the Guild accept the extension of the current DVD formula to new media. This is not an action that anyone takes lightly, but it slowly became apparent that the studios were not prepared to deal fairly with writers or the rest of the talent community. The companies have refused to agree that writers must receive fair compensation when their work is broadcast on the internet or downloaded on iPods or cell phones. The companies are seeking to take advantage of new technology to drastically reduce the residual income that sustains middle class writers and keeps them in this business. Their proposal would destroy the very pool of creative talent that is the basis of their immense revenues and profits. 20 years ago, these companies forced writers to accept an unfairly low residual for home videos so that the market could grow. And even though those markets did grow to become an extremely profitable revenue stream, the residuals never did. The fact is, there was no need for conflict on these issues. The companies are doing very well in the marketplace. As the chairman of one of the big six media conglomerates recently stated, the internet is a source of additional income. Television and film sales to the internet have not to date cannibalized viewers from broadcast and cable. And the economics of digital distribution are even more favorable than the economics of DVDs. Digital has no hard media costs, no boxes, no marginal extra shipping and handling. The only substantial economic issue for internet reuse is the residual payment to directors, actors, and writers. That is why our position is simple and fair when a writer's work generates revenues for the companies that writer deserves to be paid. For the creative community, for the city of Los Angeles, and for all viewers who have come to appreciate our work product, we are sorry that the studios have put us where we are. We are committed to seeing this through and are willing to engage in any further discussions if the studios so desire. I will now yield to Michael Winship, President of the Writers Guild East, for some comments. The Writers Guild of America East represents screen television writers who live and work east of the Mississippi. As Patrick has said, the Council of the Writers Guild of America East today joined the Writers Guild West Board and unanimously approved the negotiating committee's recommendation to strike. 
Patrick said this is not a decision we take lightly. In fact, we make it with great sadness and reluctance. There is still time and a deal to be made before this strike begins. We urge the studios and the networks to come back and bargain fairly. Thank you.